All right, well, here we are in the town of St. Marton Kata in Peshtmeja. Never thought I'd come to St. Marton Kata, yet nonetheless, here we are. Is that Harmadik Bela? What's he doing here? <laughs> Harmadik fucking Bela. Look at that. The Royal Crown. A nice little exhibit here in St. Martin Katha. But today I would like to discuss a crown of well a different type. The princely crown of Erde. For after the Bochgai Felkelesh, there was much instability in the land. Okay, here are the sights and sounds of St. Martin Katha. Uh, Chuck, uh, most China lo kichit uh, video sent Martin Kata. Yeah, yeah. Again, it's uh, because I'm safe and safe. No pot, not John Kedvesh Vaj. The Corona Vendeglu is pizzeria. Okay, why not? Let's get a little pop and a shake, rattle, and roll. So it's 1606, Bochkai Istvan is dead. The Treaty of Vienna, which ended the Bochkai Thakalish, has yet to be really put into place. And there's a lot of turmoil going on back in the Habsburg crown lands. A lot of turmoil. Rudolph's holed up in his court in Prague, blaming this one, that one, the other one for all the problems caused by the 15-year war in the Bochgai Felkalish. And his younger brother, Machash, he's had enough. And so he forces Rudolf to abdicate with the support of the Hungarian nobles. Simultaneously, there's a whole kerfuffle going down in Erde in Transylvania. Who's going to be the next leader? Bochgai is dead. And on his deathbed, he made some promises that this guy Drugith should be the leader, allegedly. He made some promises. This one should be leader, that one should be leader. But the man who becomes the leader is the aging governor. Zygmunt Rakoti, Rakoti Zygmunt. The first of the very many famous Rakotis who would follow. Vigyaz Akutya Harap. Rakoti Zygmunt, he was left in charge of Erde, left in charge of Transylvania while the Felkelesh was going on. He's a very big landowner, a man who has risen from the lesser nobility, as they are so often called, into a place of prominence. And he's won and acquired lands and more lands and more lands in Tokai, in the wine vineyard estates. He's done quite well for himself in his lifetime. And now he's elected, although quite reluctantly, I might add, to be the next Feedelem of Erde, the next Prince of Transylvania. However, there's a very young lad who's waiting in the wings. And that lad, who's about 18 by the end of the Bochkai Thelkalesh, is Batori Gabor. Now Batori hey, the Gabor name's is Battery the Gabby, and an absolute door. laundry list of Batories who have ruled over Transylvania. This family, it's a clan really, and it's risen to quite an esteemed position in the Hungarian kingdom, in the Hungarian crown lands. Oh, look at this little house. Teas and hot. Erekes, 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 Saint Martin Katai Epilet. Stilush, Saint Martin Katai Stilush. Well, there's the Saint Martin Katai these Toroin. Batori Gabor, he's only 18, but he really, 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 really wants to be the prince. He got me prince and so he cuts a deal with the elderly aging Rakoti Zygmunt and he says, listen, I'll give you some lands that you can retire to and you get out of town, allow me to be prince. Rakoti Zygmunt says, stop right there. I'm cool with that. I've had enough of this princely bullshit. It's a young man's game being prince. So Rakotsi Zygmoni takes the deal, 1608. Batori Gabor is now the Feyedelem 
a bad day. And he's a young, strapping, strong individual. I lift weights. And people are quite hopeful that his regime will be a promising one. A city on the rise. Sent Marton Kata. You know, another thing that Batori Gabor has going for him is that he's got the Haidus fighting Huzzah! for his cause. You know, the Haiduk, they were a little bit angry because they were promised all of these things by Bochkai Ishvan, but now he's dead. And although they've got their lands in the Partium and they're doing, you know, better for themselves than they were before, the instability and the lack of money, most of all, in the Hungarian crown lands is becoming quite problematic. They're not getting paid. And so, Bathory Gabor says, I'm flexing fat stacks, bro. I'll pay you that cheese. And so Bathory Gabor, he starts feasting all over the place, throwing these wild, extravagant affairs, creating a atmosphere of plenty in a land that has been deprived and scarred by the years of war. And so people are, you know, they're happy. This ain't so bad. But the good times, well, they don't last too long. The sights and sounds of St. Marton Kata. Let me put these back on. It's quite sunny today. Perhaps the last good weather day of the year. And what a better place to spend it than this. Slow down. I'm gonna kill someone. So Batori Gabor, as he's consolidating his rule, he starts to show some hints and some signs that he's a bit of a loose cannon. One thing that he does is that he has an affair with his elderly aunt, Kata. Oh, Aranianos, Johnny Gold. Never been to a town where I didn't see my good friend Jonathan Gold. Knock that one off the Bakanch Lista for St. Martin Kata, the Johnny Gold sign. So he uh, has an affair with his elderly aunt. I think she's 30 years older than him. She's either 30 years older than him or she's 30 years old. Either way, he's a young lad and he seduces her. And this is just a wee little hint that Batori Gabor is a little bit of a sexual deviant. You have to remember Erdai, it's a very cosmopolitan place. Of course at this time, it's got a lot of Magyars, but it's also got the Sikais, it's got the Saxons who are really Germans. It's got the Wallachians, the Romanians, the Moldovians. It's a land with all sorts of folks. And Batori Gabor, he's not making too many friends. Where are we, St. Martin Kata or Arizona? Who knew we would see some succulents and cacti on the side of the road here? Well, here we've got some of the wildlife in uh, St. Martin Kata. What is going on there? Are we looking at a live? I don't want to disturb them. Oh, okay. All right. <laughs> and now, Batori Gabor. He pisses off the Saxons even more. What are you gonna do about it, huh? other nobles in Erdogan. Because he's betting and defiling <laughs> all of their wives and daughters. Apparently he was into some young girls as well, which is no good. No good at all, Bathory Gabor. But I don't think he discriminated too much. I think he liked them old, he liked them young. He liked them everywhere in between. And there's a whole conspiracy that is launched against his regime. And in 1610, this conspiracy comes to a head. Now Bathory Gabor is alleged to have slept with the wife of a man by the name of Cornish Boldazar. And Cornish Boldazar, along with his associate, Kendi Istvan, they summon Batori Gabor to Kendi Istvan's estate, somewhere in the nether regions of Erdai. Josef Attila Ut, Mashedik Neve, Bankanschlista, Sent Marton Katon. Igen. Mashedik Neve, oh, Aleg Nagyob Foyo, Sent Maton Katon. Ninchviz, Ninchviz, okay. Ah, Siastok, Ojvaj. 
Nagyon gyönyörű nap, nem? Jó idő van, gyönyörű. Cuki, szia! So Bátori Gábor, he arrives at the Istvan Kendi's house and in the middle of the night he wakes up with a start and who's standing over him with a knife? It's Turuk Janos, the groomsman of Kendi Istvan. The groomsman being like the one who tends to the horses and he's about to kill Bátori Gábor. But he says, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Because Bátori Gábor, he's a strong fella. It was alleged that in his youth he could bend horseshoes, iron horseshoes. It's true, you can ask half. my mother. And Turek Janos, after he's lost this element of surprise, he says, okay, not for me. He surrenders himself. And now Batori Gabor, he's mighty, 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 mighty pissed off. And his head's gone a little bit screwy at this point. And he takes his revenge on the men who launched the plot. But not only that, he starts to look to manifest his power elsewhere, outside of the boundaries of Erde alone. Nemyo. Uh, Rosdash. Rosdash. Ooh. Wow, the outskirts of St. Martin Kata. Quite romantic. Quite romantic. Quite romantic indeed. Look at this. What a way to get to work. Kish kutya. Najong. Tsuki kutya. Najon tsuki kutya. Sent moton katai kutya. See ya, sent moton katai kutya. Najon tsuki. Najon yo. Falu ilata. Najon sep. Nagyon, nagyon szép. Gyönyörű háj, azt hiszem. Gyönyörű háj. Jó napot! Vörös Marti, harmadik neve, Bankáncs Listám, Szent Marton Katai. ABC. Borgonia, 166, nem legrosszabb, virág, virágok. Oh. Egyik szebb, mint a másik, rám nem oh. hatalítanak. Elmezést, elmezést. Bocsánat. Bocsánat. Sziasztok. 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 Szia. Szia, szia. Jó napot. Nagyon szép nap. Hát most nagyon szép a biztos. <gül> Túl melegebb, húsz. Voltam Pesten, Bórba, és akkor megkérdezték, hogy hány éves vagyok. És akkor mondta a fiatal ember, azt mondja, jaj, már úgy elvállalnám. <gül> Mert mondtam neki, jó volt, hogy bor. Ja, azt mondja, hogy izé. Mint 11-en voltunk testvérek. Elvetett ülem a forsarat, hogy mondom, bírom én, vagy belerúgok, akkor már csúszik. Azt mondja, hogy viszont így mond most magával is, és azt mondja, hogy én 11-en voltunk testvérek. Mondom, én egy 13-an <gül> olyan nevet, és mondom, hogy kizavarnak a bolygó. Tényleg? Ah, nagyon vicces. De így a jó, nem? Figyelj, figyelj, itt vannak a falunk felé. Well, that was Maria Néni. <gül> Wonderful woman. Wonderful woman. She talked to me for like another 30 minutes. The sun's almost down now. Got to take off the sunglasses. Lovely. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Sent Marton Kata. New favorite place. Batori Gabor. He's got some bigger aspirations than just Erde alone. He wants to strike out into the land surrounding Erde, such as Wallachia and Moldova. Moldova, for instance, has a 13 year old king. And Batori Gabor's like, Bitch, I'm 20. Take a seat. So he's trying to reign over these lands. He wants to go into Wallachia. He even wants to reunite the whole kingdom of Hungary under one crown, take back over, not necessarily the Turkish protectorate or the Turkish uh, domain, but he wants to take over Royal Hungary, which is right now ruled by Archduke Maciasz. And he wants to go all the way up to Poland, just like Batory Istvan once did. But Batory Gabor, his political instincts are not quite so sharp. Archduke Maciasz is like, wait a minute, what are you doing? 
I'm actually the leader of Air Day because I'm your sovereign. And Wallachia and Moldavia, Moldova, Moldavia, half of one, six, a dozen of the other. Those are my lands, not yours. And now the Ottoman Sultan, the Porte, he's starting to get a little bit disgruntled as well. He's like, listen, you're my underling. So, Air Day, which is supposed to be this pivot and play the interests off each other, Bathory Gabor has stepped out of bounds. It doesn't help things that one of Bathory Gabor's younger cousins, Bathory Erzhebit, is one of the most notorious serial killers and torturers of really any time period, but particularly in early 17th century Europe. He's got a whole bunch of bugaboos. But the real demise for Bathory Gabor is the fact that he pissed off Bethlehem Gabor. No, 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 Bethlehem, the Hungarian Batman. And this is how Bethlehem Gabor comes into power. Bethlehem Gabor has had connections down in the Ottoman Empire his whole life. And as 1613 comes into play, Bethlehem Gabor leverages those connections and he God damn it, not this guy. And they see your principality is only big enough for one, Gabor. With the help of the Crimean Tatars and the Ottomans, he's elected as the next Feodalem, the next Prince of Transylvania. Not only that, guess who delivers the final blow, the coup de grace, the High Duke. The team of High Duke. We've had just about enough of Bathory Gabor decide to stick the knife in and they assassinate him. Well, that's all for now. From St. Martin Kata, Bathory, Bathory Gabor. Oh my goodness. What a wonder this world is. I appear to have landed in a fairy garden of my own. Tundesh cat. Bathory Gabor. Bathory Gabor. Prosefiva joke. Ima dom, ima dom, ima dom, ima dom, ima dom, ima dom, la anja kot. Ima dom, ima dom, ima dom, ima dom, ima dom, ima dom, la anja kot. Batori Gabor. Batori Gabor. Batori Gabor, Rosfer, iba jok. Ima dom, ima dom, ima dom, ima dom, ima dom, ima dom, la anja kot. See ya. Is this Matsika? No. Is that Matsika? See ya, Shani. Alexa, lo. See ya, Shani. Alexa, he knows that I'm uh, with you. <laughs> no, John, say. Fantastic, lo. Look at this guy. Another guy. She is a Sandergu. Oh, this is Sandergu? Yeah. And that's Dario. Uh huh. And that's Jyoti. Jyoti. And Pompash. Pompash. Pompey. Karat. Karat. And that's all. And Shani. And Shani. With the best word. But. Because it's a Thanks for tuning in, folks. What a pleasure. If you like what you saw, share this video with a friend.